Hi Fiona Lewis here and here's a little bit of an update from our insider members community. Over June and July Google released up to 86 changes to their algorithm. Now I've had a look through these and here are the key factors that I've pulled out of it. One of those things is that Google is really paying a lot more attention to your website's pages and how fresh they are. Google is having a look at the quality of the content, whether it's original and unique. One thing that they're getting better at doing is noticing synonyms or phrases which basically say the same thing. What this means for you as a website owner and as an online marketer is you need to be very careful that the content on your website is not the same as content elsewhere on the web. Even if it's spun content, Google is getting better at picking that up. So if you are going to be wanting your website to rank well, please make sure that the content on your site is unique and original and not used anywhere else. With your online marketing efforts, if you want to be spreading content around the, the net, make sure you're doing hand rewrites because the spun content really is being picked up on these days. Speaking of content, the other thing I wanted to touch on is images. Uh, we've been talking a lot in our community about how important it is to have good quality images on your page. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, having good quality images on your page that are labelled appropriately can help with your search results. The other thing is that they are more popular to people and the human eye. If you've got a really catchy image or something that is original that you have created, then people are more likely to like your page, share it, perhaps even pin it on Pinterest, which is something that is becoming a really, really big wave. So if you want to take part of this Pinterest wave and get your content shared on there which, which, which does in fact then create a backlink back to your page, think about how you can create engaging images on your posts. One thing that has become a really big topic of discussion in our community is backing up and generally when we speak about backing up we're talking about backing up your data. Now for instance I have four different backups of my data. I about five years ago lost everything through very um, very unfortunate circumstances. I had one backup and also my computer hard drive and both of them corrupted within two days of each other and ended up losing everything and had to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for someone to try to recover my data and we only got some of it back and then the bits that we got back was full of all this gobbledygook. So backing up your data is definitely something you need to be paying attention to if you are a business owner especially if you have a lot of your business stored online. So I personally have not only the, my data on my hard drive, I have two external hard drives which I back up to on a weekly basis and I have one of them stored off site out of my home and one in my home. That way if something happened to my home I'm not going to lose everything. I also have two backups in the cloud so I back up to Google Drive and to Dropbox. This makes sure that my business is safe, it is secure and it's not at risk. Let's say if I was robbed or if there was a fire in my house or if my computer was stolen, something like that. So think about that. But there's other ways you need to be thinking about backing up. One is with your team. Do you have people in your team that are responsible for tasks that nobody knows else in your team knows how to do? If you're in this situation you're making yourself and your business very vulnerable. So make sure that you have other members in your team know how to do somebody else's job. Now how do you get around doing this? People ask me how, how do I cross train people without taking up lots of time? It's very simple really, I systemize my business. Every process within my business has to be documented and systemized. We work out checklists, workflows, everything we have little training videos. So that means if somebody is away from my business then someone else can take over that task and in fact that happened to me just this week. One of my main team members in the Philippines had to go help out family who were being flooded and had no food so I was without her for a full week but what that meant was that the important tasks that had to be done could be taken over by someone else in the team. Another area of your business you might want to think about backing up is how you accept payments and how you receive payments, uh, sorry, and how you pay people. Uh, for instance, if you just are relying on 
PayPal, you might find that perhaps one day your account is banned or suspended or put on hold for some reason, which might really cripple your business if you have no way of receiving money or in fact, if you can't pay your team members. So think about other ways that you can accept money and how you can pay money. So for instance, you might uh, use something like Orbit Remit, which is another way that I can get money to my team outside of PayPal. You might also think about having a merchant account. So they're just three different areas you want to think about how you can back up and make sure you are safe and secure if something goes wrong. Now I mentioned just before when we were talking about uh, backing up about checklists. Now checklists are a very important part of your business and we use them as I mentioned as a way of systemizing the business but also I use them in my day-to-day -day tasks to make sure that I'm not forgetting important things I need to do daily or perhaps weekly. I can create sometimes it's a mind map that I keep on next to my computer to remind me of all the different areas of my business or the different processes that I need to be thinking about. So this is important when it comes to making sure that you are able to grow and scale your business, making sure that you are keeping a certain quality as well. It also obviously is good for systemizing in order to be able to show other people how to do things within your business. So this is something that I'm training the people within my community, the people who I mastermind with and the members within our coaching program as well. So that's our update for this week to give you a bit of an idea of what we're talking about and we'll see you in the next update.